Hello, my name is Pavel Stepanov and this is my project, my submarine, the one I have been building for three years now. And I want to show you what I have done so far. The current date, the date wood is finished and is welded to the frame. So as you can see, the dead wood shaft, the stern and all of this are mounted and fitted to the engine. The shaft, dead wood, the propeller, everything is done custom, except for this one. Uh, everything else was welded by me. Uh, I was doing this three years ago in a shop. Uh, as you can see, uh, the the back of the submarine is chrome tubes. Uh, everything else is basically this metal armature. Uh, as for the the bow, uh, it is done with uh, fiberglass. It's only half. And uh, there are going to be three layers, so there are going to be three more layers. But first, I need to finish the coating of this layer first, cover it all, uh, then add add polyester fiberglass. So this is basically what I'm going to be coating it with. It's already uh, mixed with fiberglass, so it's just you just add it and spread it all out and it's going to be looking very nice. So I need a lot, a lot, a lot of this. And I need a lot of this. It's fiberglass. So also, the first, what I was doing, I was doing with uh, epoxy. But later on, the epoxy was too expensive, so I switched to Oh, yes. the, the one that I have is this one, polyester resin, it's not as good as epoxy but it does the job. Uh, now I can show you that the engine is running, uh, the was working, this is my uh, battery packs, I have four of them. I need to get additional ones also. Yeah, I see his battery is dying. Because for three years my batteries were basically just sitting still. They've been not charged or nothing. So it doesn't have any juice left. That's why it's basically it's almost dead. Uh, now you can look at the batteries, it's basically heavy duty, heavy duty batteries, the one particular is good that it's uh, 140 amps, uh, 12 volts, so I require 6 of them to run the engine for at least 8 hours, this is basically what I was uh, planning on. The engine should be running uh, automatically and uh, autonomously for 8 hours for underwater time running. So it will be able to cover at least 100 kilometers. Uh, I have tools that I have bought. It's basically the cutter, the wood cutter, which is very, very good. It's the one that I bought recently, the turbine is a very good one. Then I have bought also this. It's an uh, electrical uh, sprayer. So I will be able to spray the, the fiber, maybe if it's possible to mix it with uh, resin I, I i haven't tried this yet maybe it will be possible for me to spray you know the resin it will be much much easier for me then to do it with brush and roller so uh, the submarine 
as you can see requires a lot a lot of work basically all the floors all the interiors should be all done it requires a lot of fiberglass a lot of fiberglass as basically as you can see I was doing it I was wrapping it around with uh, foil with this foil and on top of this foil I was putting the fiberglass layers so this is what I was basically uh, this was my plan for making the layer coatings of the fiberglass so I would just I would just uh, take this roller off sticky paper like this attach to the end and then would layer it out all 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 submarine like this and on top of this I would be putting fiberglass this is basically this is this is my plan for work uh, basically as for operation of the submarine itself it requires ballast tanks this is what I have this is basically industrial pipe so what I did I cut it in half because it was three meter long so I cut them in half and I require six of them because the two of them two of them are capable of holding 200 liters 200 liters of water or air so basically the tubes tubes would be placed here on the side they would be heated like so in this part and six of them would be sitting one on top of the other like this this is basically where the ballast tanks would be placed as you can see I require a lot a lot of help a lot of funding a lot of work so I hope guys this will be sufficient for you to grant your good blessings your good deeds in order for one day all of us will be witnessing how this piece of equipment is conquering the deep blue seas thank you for your time thank you for your interest and I hope you will be backing me up Goodbye.